how would it work for an employee to use in parallel both their workspace account and their free personal Google account, you know, which is a Gmail account across multiple devices? How easy would it be for both of those accounts to be used on a phone? And they want to use different Google apps for those respective accounts. Now, what this person is asking here is how do multiple accounts work on a mobile device? And I do actually want to show off my phone, but I don't have it plugged into the desk at the moment. So that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and show this off on my iPad. So we've got an iPad here and obviously I've got this set up with my Google accounts. And so I can go ahead and open something like, for example, Google Slides. All right, so inside my Google Slides app here, you can see in the top right hand corner, I've got my pretty little face, which means that I'm signed in with my business account. But anytime I click on that, it's gonna bring up my different accounts that I have available. So I can actually open up my personal account and that's gonna switch up to any of my personal accounts or personal files that are here. Lucky there's nothing weird in there, isn't there? <laughs> I didn't check that one before I opened it. But here we have the ability to switch really easily. And all you need to do, you can actually just flick between each one of these accounts just by swiping down and that lets you change between them. Now, this also works for Gmail. If I go ahead and open up my Gmail, I've got some scammers asking me for refunds in my email here, but I can also just click on to manage accounts. It doesn't look like email was switched on for my business Gmail. There we go. So I can just switch through different accounts by dragging down, flicking down and switching between the different accounts. And that gives me the ability to change through. Now I can do that on any one of my Google apps. Typically the Google apps will sometimes only allow you to work on one account with offline files at a time. So be mindful of which accounts suit you better to enable offline files. On iOS, I've, I've got a feeling they may have updated that and they may have changed that now, but yeah, just kind of keep that in mind, which one is more important to you to use for offline files. But the other thing to be mindful of is if you're on an Android device, it works in a completely different way. On Android, there's something called Android for Work. And Android for Work is a very cool tool. So what Android for Work does is it actually allows you to create something called a work profile. I think it's been renamed Android Enterprise. And let me see if I can find, I actually wanna find images of that to show you exactly what it looks like. Yeah, here we go, wonderful, great. So inside Android for Work, what we have is all of your standard applications. So you'll have Maps, Podcasts, Calendar, Gmail, everything else in the Google world. But next, what you also have is a work version of your app. So it's like a second app that's signed in with your work account. And they actually appear as two different icons on your home screen. So you don't have to do the dragging and dropping switching. They're just always available as two different apps. And you can see each work app has a nice obvious little work briefcase on it, which lets you have that signed in. Now, what I really love about this, what makes this very, very useful and very handy, particularly for your employees in your business, is that what this gives everyone is, let's say like a, a walled garden between what's happening on their business apps and what's happening on their personal apps. When you deploy Android Enterprise, it also gives people a separate photos folder, a separate files folder. And so if someone is working in a work app, like for example, Gmail, and they want to you know, attach a photo into a chat or attach a photo into a email and send it off to a colleague, they're not gonna accidentally open up their personal photos archive. It's gonna have a separate app for all of your work images and all of your work files. And so that's a really nice little feature which keeps the two things completely separate. I previously used an Android phone and I absolutely loved this feature. It was the one feature that really kept me with the Android ecosystem because it had things nice and separate between my personal life and my business life. Now what that's great for, particularly if you've got team members who are using mobile phones and they wanna keep all of their personal stuff very, very separate from their business stuff, this is the best way to do it. And of course, when you switch off their work account, it's just gonna remove any of those work features from the mobile phone without disrupting or touching any of that person's personal data. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. 
If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.